Welcome to another episode of Toy Pizza. We've got a Halo-centric episode. It's a very special episode. I never thought it would happen, but today you should be picking up the Master Collection of Halo Master Chief a Anniversary. Uh, Xbox One. Xbox One, yeah. Hey, yeah. This is a video game? Yeah. It's a video game, yeah. It's a franchise. Well, Nicky finally had his way. He beat us down in all of our pitch meetings until we finally agreed to do Halo. And here we are. I'm not against it. I like Halo. It's fun. But before we jump into Halo, let's start with news. Mm, Russian things a lot. Uh, kicking things off, we've got Sentinel's Armorized Iron Man, which is just over 7 inches. And it is a beautiful figure because I love that version of Tony Stark. This is crazy. So I've never heard of this toy company before. Same. They're making a die-cast Iron Man, uh, which is pretty stylized. You know, mm -hmm. it doesn't look like a literal translation of any, uh, you know, Iron Man that I know of. It's got die-cast parts and it has snap-on armor and I actually think this could be the quintessential Iron Man figure because all the other Iron Man figures are a bit thin and skinny, mm -hmm. you know? For a guy wearing a suit of armor, I always felt like uh, he seemed a little lanky and a little too thin in areas uh, when he's been, you know, made in toy form previously. Uh, so I'm really into this thing. I, I think it's going to go for about $100. Um, it's probably Japan only, but there'll be some import over here. Sure, yeah. I mean, it's got movable eyes, got all these ex extra pieces that goes with it. I mean, it's really nice. Yeah, I like them even just without the red armor, just like the maroon and the gold. Yeah. And, you know, it's very interesting that they went with um, this version of Tony Stark, you know, instead of seeing, you know, uh, Robert Downey Jr., which, you know, we're so familiar in the past, like, couple of years. And, you know, it's almost like a refresher. Like, it... it Resembles like almost the Tony Stark you would find in from Toy Biz. Sure, yeah, yeah the yeah, old school, the, comics, the comic, comic book one. Version, yeah, yeah. Um, so I dig it. I think it would be cool uh, to have him wear a trench coat and maybe have a little suitcase full of armor pieces. You in yeah. trench coats? And armor. Iron Man doesn't need a trench coat. I like a uh, real cloth. What Unless it's like a sick like armored trench coat that like comes out like robotic, like that would be and cool. And covers him. Yeah. Yes, but like robotic. And then he throws it into the washing machine. Yeah. <laughs> Short circuits. Come, 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 come. Jarvis, what's that noise? Uh, okay, um, next up, we've got some uh, pretty cool uh, Figma figures. I mean, they, you've got the Metal Gear Solid Snake, which you're probably excited about. Yeah, I definitely will be buying this. Yeah. No question about it. Of course you will be. And then we've got the uh, the Lucina, which is really nice. From Fire Emblem. Yeah. yeah, I'm not familiar with this character, so this is a Nintendo game? You yeah, play on yeah Atari? Fire Emblem Awakening. Yeah. yeah, Fire Emblem. And so basically in Smash Brothers Melee, which kind of like, you know, brought Fire Emblem back, you mm -hmm. know, and this character, Marth, uh, is supposed to be oh, like... Oh, Marth I know from Smash Brothers. Yeah, right. so Lucina is this female that's kind of <sighs> pretending... To be more. All right, spoilers. There's a lot of gender bending going on in in these uh, these kids games. Correct. In fact, in the new Smash Bros. game, uh, you can actually be Wii Fit Trainer male version or the female version. But and isn't uh, Seek also Zelda in disguise? Sheik. Sheik. Yeah. All right. I'm uh, I'm hip to it. The, the Seek. How do you do, fellow children? Can't wait for the Amiibo episode we have coming up. The, the um, Seeker gets the uh, the gold piece. In bad, the bad, bad. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm not this sure is I not am. a Harry Potter episode. I'm not well, sh regardless, I'm not sure I know that reference. <laughs> regardless, the new Smash game is out. Lucina is a playable character. I'm interested in getting most of these, you know, Figma characters that mm -hmm. you know appear in Smash, like you know, Pit, Samus, and uh, now Lucina. But what about the Amiibos, which are coming out? Oh, oh. so there's some controversy here sure is. going on with Amiibos. Quick sidebar, I finally downloaded Smash. Mm -hmm. I have a trip coming up, so I'm going to play it on the plane. You're going to be Seek. I, uh... Seek. <laughs> I, um... I played a couple uh, levels... Is that what they call them? I, I guess. I don't know what you're playing. Yeah, I, Smash. I did really bad at it, uh -huh. and I don't like the game, and I have no skill for it. But you gave me some pointers. I did. I gave you a couple pointers, You yeah. said, um... Press A. Turn items off. Yeah. Turn the items off. Uh -huh. Pick an easy level. Easy level. Low play CPU. Other people. Low CPU. And, um, to cover myself in peanut butter while I do it. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. If it's gonna help with my game playing, I, sure. I'm into it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, speaking of the Amiibos, like they, uh, they're they going to be coming right around the corner and a lot of pictures are showing up online doing comparisons from the, you know, the prototypes that they showed off um, around uh, E3, I think it was, and they're actually at the Nintendo World Store now, um, but they're, they're basically comparing what the actual figures look like and some people are angry. I wouldn't say they're comparing, there was a lot of people complaining about <laughs> complaining. Sure, what yeah. the final figures look like and I think that 
what's going on at the core of this is that, you know, people that have only played video games and don't really collect toys or collectibles that much, they're not as familiar with this sort of changes and diminishing return of bringing a product to life. You know, there's uh, there are going to be millions of Amiibos made. So there, you're going to have to cut back on some paint apps. Sure, yeah. There's going to be things that you get better at doing as the production moves along. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, there's... For toy collectors, we're kind of used to... It's not really bait and switch, but we, we have tempered expectations yeah. Yeah, for, you know, how something looks in an ad and how something looks in person. The exception to that rule is probably 3A, yeah. who do really great photography, but it's very accurate for the final product. Well, I was going to say about this is that this is like the first line from Amiibo, so it can only improve. And like you said, they're going to be making millions of these, and it's like, it's quantity, you know? They're right, going to be yeah. banging these out, yeah. and so... Unfortunately, okay, product photos, you know, the first images of these figures don't exactly look like the actual, you know, models. And, like, some of the things change, like the, I know, the translucent stand, for example. Yeah. Lynx is yellow. Lynx is yellow. You know, and, like, the poses are slightly different. And, like, someone was complaining about Peach's dress not having that nice embroidery. Well, I saw people were complaining about the underwear on Peach, which... Uh, you need to examine yourself if that's really your sure, yeah. your go to critique. Like there is, you may have problems connecting with other human beings. Yeah, Let's be um, I think a couple other things was like Marth's sword was like you know kind of drooping, you know, wasn't like stiff or anything like that. And um, yeah, a Wii Fit Trainer, <laughs> Wii Fit Trainer had like a cast, uh, looks like a cast to hold her up since she's doing a yoga pose. And well, um, they're they're statues. Yeah. I mean, they're not if they're opposable figures. Sure, want you might have more grounds to complain, but what, what, you're yeah. gonna stand them up anyway. It's not yeah. like you're gonna be fighting with those swords. Yeah, maybe. Uh, but the fox looks cool. The fox I don't really good. see any problems with him. Well, he has amputated legs, right? Oh, Isn't that the yeah. theory? Oh, maybe. All the Star Fox characters had their legs amputated. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. <laughs> I think I saw that on <laughs> Did You Know uh, Gaming. Gaming? Oh, yeah. okay. That's weird. Yeah. You watched. can tell from the, the 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 secret sound chip that they found by like you know, decoding the game. And it's yeah. like, I have no legs. <laughs> <laughs> I was kidding. I watch YouTube programming. Um, well, you know, Amiibos, they're going to be mass-marketed. There's not just going to be Mario. It's going to be tons of characters. So, like you said, it's got to be sacrifices. But, you know, because of that, we might be seeing some fakes, right? Some oh. fake Amiibos. But, like, bootlegs. how are you going to be able to tell that this bootleg and this is real? Well, we've put together a really cool uh, fake Attack on Titan guide, which is on our Tumblr. Yeah, not for Amiibo, unfortunately, <laughs> but specifically for... Figma, uh, you know, Attack on Titan figures. Yeah, look, thing. Figmas are susceptible to a lot of bootlegging. Uh, Josh, who runs our Tumblr and does a great job. Instagram, the company dime. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah everybody should follow go. him for yeah, sure. He's going to get three new followers today. Uh, I mean, maybe even two. Um, uh, yeah, he unfortunately came across a bootleg uh, Levi from the Figma line. Yeah. Uh, the, the retailer was... Kind enough to replace it, and he got to keep the bootleg. That's cool. Uh, so that, that gave him cool. the opportunity to shoot them side by side and help educate people out there about the differences in these and how to hopefully avoid, uh, you know, picking a, a bunk one up. So there were a couple of like key differences. Like, of course, if you had them side by side, you can tell, but you might not have them. You only look at photos. Uh, some of the boss color is off, but mm. um, you know, literally the paint apps are terrible. Uh, a couple of other things is that just the packaging of how they uh, piece together the accessories. Uh, the Figma stand doesn't have the Figma uh, logo on the stand. Yeah. And from my experience, it's just uh, when you're looking at pictures online, just look at the faces. And not the expressions, but the order. Mm. So, like, you know, an official one will have, like, you know, this one expression on the top or on the bottom. And I see in the face, they actually move them around. And it's like, sure. oh, wait, that's not legit. Th- there, there are two distinct ways to avoid buying bootlegs. You know, you people will always have the ability to pull a bait and switch, but the two golden rules here are, one, is are they using stock photography or have they taken their sure. own photography? Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's a good giveaway. A lot of these uh, crooked sellers, they will use stock photography and you will not see anything yeah. that uh, they've taken themselves. So that yeah. can potentially be a red flag. The second thing is price. If this is a dollar, fifty percent <laughs> off of what all the other auctions are going for, chances are it's going to be a bootleg. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, third thing to watch out for: 
uh, just like how strong is your sustained relationships with other people? Right. You know. Yeah. That's a yeah. That's a good telltale sign. Like when you call someone, they're not calling you back. Right. Good chance. Yeah. yeah. yeah good chance. Fake. It's probably a bootleg. Yeah. <laughs> you got a bootleg. Good chance. All right. Well, that's uh, that's all the news. I mean, uh, we're definitely gonna be talking about Amiibo a lot more uh, here coming up whenever Smash Bros. God help me. Right on the around the corner. So. Yeah. So definitely tune in for Amiibo. But before we get to Nintendo gaming, let's talk about Halo. <laughs> First up for Halo, Megablox has been doing an amazing job over the years. They have sent us the enormous broadsword ship, which you are now watching a super speed build of while we chat a little bit more about Halo. Yeah. So right here uh, on the couch, we have two Megablox pieces, and I think Jesse's going to open this guy. Well, uh, included in the broadsword ship is the new body type for the... Um, the Spartans? The Spartans. Thank you. So uh, while Jesse opens that, we got this no, little... No, okay. you will wait for me. Okay. Oh, what, what, is, you. what did you guys get? I don't so understand. So this is an exclusive figure from Comic-Con, I believe. Really? Just yeah, so yeah. what... Uh, you know, if you followed our Call of Duty Megablox episode, you saw that there was a brand new minifigure body type that they've introduced. Mm -hmm. And they've replicated that new superposability to the Halo line. So at Comic-Con of this past year... They gave out these really awesome Spartans. That's so really you've held cool. on to this since I have Comic Con. I've, I've waited to do for this, with this you. specific episode to open this. Did that just drop in your glass of water? Nope. Oh, I thought he just dropped a Mega Blocks. Mega um, in here. Yeah, I've saved this to uh, to do it with you guys for our Halo episode. That's so beautiful. And uh, you know, obviously, this uh, Spartan is also the same body type that's included in. The beautiful broadsword chip. Yeah, what's great about uh, Mega Bloks is just that you know they have Call of Duty and they have Halo, and Halo works on the skill without a doubt. And uh, you can go into uh, some stores, and if you're not buying a full set, you can find these uh, little like uh, I don't know suppositories. The... Okay, yeah, and uh, basically there's this one line is a metallic line, and you can see it from over here. They have you know some Covenant people and some other Spartans that are metallic. So these are like uh, drop ships. Yeah, I guess. I mean, is that what they call these little pods in the game? I don't remember these pods. Well, from you're the, game. the oh residential my Halo gosh, expert. Okay, you should know. Well, you know, Chibi Chibi Halo is just too cute, right? I think that's so cute. That's why we love it so much because yeah, it's it these tiny little a, mini figures. You know, it's got a little Chibi esque uh, nature to it. Yeah. yeah, what's great about that Master Chief or Spartan? He comes with the shotgun, which is awesome. Uh, unfortunately, this guy didn't come with any weapons. Damn it. Maybe it did, but you lost him. I might have eaten it. You probably lost them. Can I see that? Yeah, sure. Because I want to have them face off. and But this is, you can tell this is a little bit an older yeah. figure compared to the sweet, awesome new one. Yeah, And it was really cool that they come with these uh, you know, uh, exclusive uh, pieces well, with the Halo logo right. printed yeah. on the side of them. Well, uh, it's cool. you know, like we said, Mega Bloks have done an amazing job over the years. Yeah. And uh, I think if you're going to jump into this line... The broadsword is a great place to start. Oh, look, sure. we have a $5, five dollar off, off coupon. Yeah, that's really. It's awesome. a shame we can't share this with you guys, but mm. um, we're we're definitely going to use this. Yeah, so definitely check out all of uh, the Halo line that Mega Box offers at uh, halo.megablocks.com. I like this police car too. That's from Halo, right? Yeah. Well, police car. Maybe I have no idea. And the show grinds to a halt. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, and also the board, uh, sh oh. sword ship comes with a Cortana figure. Mm -hmm. And is that didieck? It's a dieck, yeah. Oh. And oh. and also a cool little weapons rack that'll give you yeah. a lot of uh, different. I don't care uh, about Cortana. The looks great. Kind of, yeah, but I don't care. I don't want her. I want just a bunch of Spartans. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. like that's cool. And you can set them up like it's a big team slayer. You can have like three hundred of them against. An army of thousands. Yeah. Eliminate the enemy team. So since we're covering Halo, and since uh, this is all in vein of the Master uh, Chief collection with uh, what is it, two, three, uh, four, Reach. And, and it's every single I don't think Reach game. is in it. I don't think Reach is in it. Yes. No way. It's every right, game. Well, I'm picking up regardless. But you know, if you love the series, I'll over here and, and the scale. You know, there's also Microps. Or micro ops, micro ops, micro ops, micro ops, yeah. tiny crops, my crops made by Monsanto. So if you check, um, you know, uh, Toys R Us, a lot of these are uh, these are a little older, so they were on sale, and you can get like literally pieces from Halo Three and Halo One, like we have here the uh, the high ground gate, which I believe was in Halo Three. Whose is that? Oh, this is mine. You bought that? Yeah, I just bought them just to show on the show, and uh, just wanted to mention it. You know, save for the show, buddy. Okay. 
Well, now we're here. Oh, we're here. Okay. We're here. Uh, so, go ahead. Yeah, so literally, like, these were discounted you know, on Toys R Us, which was really, really cool because I got this mini ghost for 50 cents. I don't know. I really... Right. But shame on you because buying things on clearance is not good. It's Why? Not because it's, it sends the wrong message. You know, we, Does it? we... Us toy collectors want to impress upon retailers and buyers that our... Matt, our numbers matter, and that we're not going to wait until things are on clearance. No, listen, I didn't wait till things were on clearance. It's just I so happened to go in that day and I was there. What's your I fault? I said though? shame on you. Okay. Still shame on you. Well, I'm just saying if you like the Mega Box scale or just something smaller, you can also look for at McFarlane, who does have the Halo Toys uh, license, and you know they're, they're actually pretty cool. I mean, they're, this is the only reason why I bought this. It's this the Mini Ghost. The Mini Ghost. Yeah, you would so do sick. that. Yeah, because of the turret, and also comes with the uh, little. Cover. What are you gonna do with this? You gonna put this by your TV? Um, you have a little battle. It's gonna go now. under my uh, pillow. No, I mean it's so it's like really cool. It's something you definitely want to have like on display somewhere. Uh, like I said, it's gonna go under my pillow. Oh, okay. Yeah. I love the, the mini ghost. It's pretty great. Yeah, so McFarland does offer the micro ops line, but that is not why we're here today. We're gonna show you some. We're here today for a meal. We are here for a meal, and that's another reason why I bought them. So we have a meal, small and meal. also from the McFarlane line, I walked into uh, St. Mark's Comics. Mm -hmm. I saw a couple of loose Halo figures, so I bought a meal right then and there, and I also bought a Scout, and you're seeing footage of him now. But because you forgot him at home. I did forget uh, them at home. I just didn't want to want you guys to touch them, but you guys sure. can totally touch this. So check this out. You go into Walgreens, and Walgreens now is starting to carry exclusives. For so sure. this is one of them, and it's a, a Spartan CIO, which is counterintelligence operative. Wow. And uh, what's really cool about him, his gun, is uh, his DMR. It actually comes with a special skin that you can actually take the code and put it in your game. Oh, so this is a Spartan CIO holding the DMR. So this is region-free gun? Anyone can download and play it? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Or is so. that DRM? Oh, yeah, that's DRM. <laughs> that's, okay. And what's really, really cool is that now, because if you love Halo, mm. I'm sure you're all excited about Halo 5. And I know how Can't much... wait. I know how much you love... Uh, armored robots with clothes. Well, I I actually am into this figure. I think this is great because like, he has a freaking cloak. Yeah, there's something about I, cloaks for you. It well, really is. So a lot of people are saying that this shouldn't be in stores. A lot of people are saying you should unbox that on camera. Eh. <laughs> Couldn't hurt, right? Uh, so what's really cool about this toy is that a lot of people are saying that it's not actually supposed to be in stores yet, but I think now they should be hitting stores. And what we have here is Master Chief. And his cloak as appeared in the Halo 5 trailer. Which, I mean, a, a cloak on a robot-type figure or, you know, somebody wearing robotic armor makes them that much cooler. Like, think of Megatron in Transformers, I don't know, 2 or 3, doesn't really matter. Yeah. Does um, it come off? He has that little tarp, and he looks so much cooler for it. It doesn't well, come off. Well, it seems like that this whole uh, piece is... Uh, not removable, but th if you look inside, that there is a full uh, Spartan toy underneath. Uh -huh. Oh, this is made out of pad CU. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Well, what's actually really funny about this toy is that now you're thinking about like you know pad CU. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> robots in um you know armor. Yeah. The Spartans are significantly larger than humans. Right. They're about eight feet tall. Oh, yeah. So enough. Like when this trailer came out, I was like, oh my god, I knew it was Master Chief. It's like, where did he have the time to sew a cloak? You know, for his size. Yeah, he does come out of it. Oh, that's, that's really great. Cool. The I, fact that it comes out is just like that. Yeah, I didn't better. actually didn't know that. So that's awesome. Here's his little back piece. But what's news. really cool is because out of the Halo 4 line, no one came with this gun. We actually have a bolt shot. And also, featured in the trailer, he's holding, uh, what are dog tags? Uh, yeah. For Cortana. That's that right. Like. Yeah. yeah, and you know, more questions will be answered when Halo 5 comes out. But yes, he comes with uh, Cortana's uh, old uh, piece. Now, how do we get you as excited about Halo for the spreadsheets you need to fill out. Ooh. I'm sorry, uh, I'll get them to you tomorrow. Thank you. Okay. Makes sense. I'll try. Every week with these guys. Every week. So now, do you guys want to open the other guy? No, I like this one. All right, so uh, here. Save it for the unboxing. Yeah, honestly, like like this one should have, why did, I don't understand why you didn't do that. Actually. That's a great gun. But this is really shotgun cool. almost. This is an awesome. This is Master Chief, right? Yeah, that is Master Chief. This is yeah. legitimately Master Chief. Master Chief Boyardee. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> it's not that funny, Nikki. <laughs> it is funny. No, what's great about him is that you know because following the events of Halo Four and he's trudging along in the desert, he actually has a lot of weathered, uh, you know, armor. Yeah. And like, his, I believe his visor is cracked too, right? His visor is cracked. Yeah. But the thing is, he has like these weird. Like groove joints. Oh, ratcheted like, joints. Those are actually good because that will yeah. allow him to hold poses, uh, you know, without 
sort falling. of uh, yeah, falling but, or becoming loose. Yeah, but they're yeah. visible, isn't, isn't that? No, I, I love the ratchet joints on the, the Halo toys. You do? Yeah. Really cool. Tell me more. Really spicy. Yeah. Well, you know, he's pretty cool. You know, I give him... I give him an 8 out of 10. Listen, I think he's a, a great piece to have in your Halo toy, you know, collection. You know, being one of the first Halo 5, you know, figures out there. Yeah. I so, mean... When does Halo 5 come out? I'm not sure, to be honest, but... Um, what kind of Halo expert are you? Oh, I don't know. I have to get an Xbox One first unless I can sleep on your couch. You can sleep on my okay, couch. Okay, that's cool. And then, uh, you know, then you know, you should be looking for Master Chief with Cloak in stores. Uh, should be around now. Will you wear the little kimono I bought you for Christmas? If, um, yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Great, great pose, kid. So, Thank look. <laughs> I want to get to the goods. Okay, so like I said... I'm ready. Okay, fine. Here we go. No, wait. So we started off small. Then yes. we went even smaller. Yes. Then we went cooler exclusives. Yeah, so... And now... Well, in this line, like I said, you're seeing a meal from McFarlane Toys. But now imagine if you had a more detailed, bigger version of a meal from Reach. One of, uh, probably one of the best Halo characters out there. We have from here unveiling three A's, a meal figure. Now, are these images scrolling horizontally or vertically on the screen right now? They're rotating. This is they're they're spinning. It's, it's like a newspaper reel. Like, can we get a fade in from one to the a transition? Stop requesting, you know, <laughs> things to be on screen and actual cuts on, live. So I put them in. But you, then you have to do them. I am not actually. <laughs> So here we have uh, a meal. Oh, show them the size of this box. This oh, is ridiculous. Okay. So yeah. I mean, this is the figure right what's here. What's really cool about this? This plain box right here. It has all these, you know, squares, just like you were playing, you know, Halo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And one of your loading screens. But on the back has like detailed schematics. 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 Yes. Yeah. And this. That's this, a callback. It is. Now, 3A has the license for a few uh, Halo figurines. Sure. And, you know, they have uh, Gabriel Thorne and an actually uh, exclusive. One for Bamba Lands. Um, I believe that uh, the Halo license came about because Ash Wood, who's one of the principals of 3A, mm -hmm. yes, um, he had done some comic work, right? Yeah. For the, the Halo uh, comic world. Yeah, yeah, and um, so on Bamba Lands, you can actually get Gabriel Thorne, he's the blue Spartan, and also mm -hmm. uh, an exclusive of a Halo UNSC uh, Spartan recruit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Now, if he's a recruit, why does he have like a sniper rifle? That seems like a very advanced weaponry i need you to answer me right now i, I can't answer that <laughs> um <laughs> yeah i don't know you know like just holding this figure i think with anything 3a two words to describe them as a whole is incredible detail i was gonna say bad a i okay. if i'm picking two words i would say really really good that's and it's nice mm -hmm. <laughs> is that Let's, no, that's pretty good. Let's go with incredible detail. So this is the figure that we want to talk about. <laughs> For Halo fans, if you are a collector of Halo collectibles... A collector of Halo collectibles? This is the quintessential item you need to have. Sure, yeah. No. I mean, God, the fingers are articulated. Yes. It has lights that light up. Yes. That's what lights do. Well, sometimes, you know. Yeah. yeah. So what's what I love about this is that all of his accessories, you know, he has various, you know, weapons like yeah. his my turn, my turn. Sure. And you know, uh even his armor like, you know, for his arms, magnetic. 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 That's so cool. And Magnets, how do they work? I don't know, but all along the belt, you can put all these uh pieces for uh on the front and the back of the belt, which is awesome. Yeah. Let's just test that out. This Oh, yeah. so beautiful. That grenades and oh, stuff. Yeah, that. That, oh, yeah. That's sweet. And he's got this blade. Yeah, and that's a signature goes blade. Here. Signature blade. Yeah. yeah, you know, um, part of the reason I never played Halo was I just found the character designs to be so so. And I think that, you know, Emil and what they did in Reach was actually very interesting. They kind of took, you know, the standard Spartan look and they added a bunch more character to them. Honestly, like, the, the first image that you see in Meal, you just see him, like, you know, carving something, and then just, like, you know, it's revealed that, you know, his visor was actually etched out. And I just think that's, like, one of the coolest and more badass things that you can do as a Spartan, you know? Yeah. I, like, I wish you would stop swearing. Okay. We got our controversial episode out the window. <laughs> no, but he's just so cool, and, you know, I had this, you know, baby uh, Emil figure from Microps, and I also have, you know, the, the five-inch from McFarlane Toys, but he is incredibly detailed, and you can always expect this from 3A. You know, technically speaking, this is a masterpiece, especially when it comes to the different materials that they've used here. So there's sort of an under-skeleton, and then this very flexible rubber 
uh, suit that goes over it. Yeah. Yeah, for the um, joints and stuff to go yeah. over it. It's ABS plastic. We got some PVC plastic. We got some real cloth. This is beautiful. Yeah. yeah. My goodness, if I could meet a woman like this. I'm telling you. you so know. it's sweet because, like you mentioned, all the parts out on the magnetic and all those like little bullet chambers on his wrist uh, kind of move and come out. And yeah. uh, the lights are awesome. Um, yeah, they know. go down to that detail. Look, shotgun shells. Exactly. On and his it wrist. has a exactly. little tampo print with text on it. Yeah. That's Sheesh. insane. Sheesh. Yeah. And seriously. You're now seeing a close up of the tampo print. <laughs> nope. On the shotgun shells. Okay. And. We're going to fade out with a diffuse transition. And into a helicopter shot? Into a helicopter shot? A crane image. Yeah. No, he's he's incredible. Like, I, I'm just so happy to hold this and just to feature it on the show. And if you guys are interested at all in a, a premium Halo collectible item, there, check it's out It's no game. question. Look, if you are a fan, this is the thing you need to have. Yeah. Th- these other things are nice. For sure. But these are practically stocking stuffers in comparison. Yeah. Don't... Yeah. don't you know, save your money. Don't buy the game. Just buy the toy. Sure. Right here. Yeah. Never play any games yeah. when you can buy a toy. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. What? And honestly, what's one of the best weapons is the shotgun right here. Yeah. And you know, again, the fingers are articulated, and it's just so sick. You can literally wrap all of his fingers around yep. the uh, right around the handle, handle and the oh, trigger. Yeah. And my face, see. And your face. And you can, yeah. You definitely oh, can. Oh, you guys so are falling cute. in love. I love that you can make him do, like, peace signs and stuff. Yeah. Or the finger. Or the finger. Or, or double finger. Double, I, I'm into that, yeah. yeah. Or peace out. Peace yeah. out, yeah. yeah. Um, it's great. Yeah. It's yeah. gorgeous. I mean, gosh, there's so many cool Halo stuff we have here. The only question is, who gets to keep all this? Um, if anyone's keeping it, can I have the shotgun? <laughs> I'll tell you what, you can have this too. Oh, thank you. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, really? Oh, sweet! <laughs> yeah, Emil is in stores now. Uh, I think Big Bad Toy Store is a good place to go and order him. Definitely, yeah. Unfortunately, the price is about, you know, $200. I know the Bad Milan. Not up. unfortunately. Totally reasonable. Okay, that's It's fair. a steal. You yeah, get what so. you pay for, and it's incredible detail. Look, we want you to spend money on this toy. Not discounted, like we said earlier. I don't know. Oh, oh discount saying. shopping. Yeah, yeah certainly. Oh, yeah. uh, no clearance section. Uh, you know, look, he's worth it. I read, I read in the New Yorker that it costs uh, $1 million over the span of a child's life to raise them and educate them. Mm-hmm. So why do that? Why have kids when you can just uh, throw out a couple hundred bucks and you get this beauty and you don't got to worry about tuition? You don't have to feed them and you don't have to wipe them. You do have to feed them. You do have oh, to okay. feed this one. Yeah, it's, it's um, the instructions right here. Yeah, so. I, I do. Oh, he, will he will die. If so you do don't. you still want it? or? I mean, oh boy. <laughs> Um, awesome. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. And, uh, this, this is not going to be the last 3A thing we see on here. No, no, no. Definitely not. We oh, love 3A. We, we love lo- 3A. We love 3-0. We love all of these, you know, 1-6 scale collectibles. And, uh, I get the feeling we're going to be dedicating a lot more time to them. I would love to see more 3A on the show. I know you guys should definitely check out 3A. And, uh, you know, let us know what you think about Halo, and let let us know what you think about the game. And, and more importantly, stop by Bambalan. We're yeah. going to have a link in the description. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're going to have an annotation. No, just kidding. <laughs> no, um, just kidding. <laughs> no, just yeah, uh, check them out, and stop by there frequently, because there are a lot of stuff that pops up on there. A lot of exclusives. Yeah. And you got to own them. Yeah, and um, I don't know, Jesse's looking forward to the Microman line. Absolutely. What are you, a nerd? You don't, you don't know about 3A, you nerds? So that's it for Halo, so I guess now we're going to move on to uh, some So, fans Halo up. goodbye. Oh boy, after an excellent workout, we like to cool down and do some fan stuff. Mm-hmm. Maybe a little Q&A, maybe a little show and tell, maybe a little fan art. What do you guys say? You want to Sure, do yeah. I mean, uh, definitely. We have some really cool fan art that we've gotten uh, from Instagram. In particular, we've yeah. got two beautiful pieces. Jesse, that's right. talk about So, it. we have uh, Tenric Drives, who has done this beautiful portrait of me oh that's on me no sorry it's me oh, shoot. he he got my anatomy very correct you know all yeah, the rippling muscles close. yeah the six-pack abs mm-hmm. uh this is beautiful it's i okay. love it brings it's a tear to my eye pretty nice and then another one of uh, the green yeah lucas limpiro Lemporio? Yeah, we actually featured this in our Instagram. And, you know, as always, hashtag your photos with Toy Pizza. Mm-hmm. That goes for your toy pickups, your toy photos, and, of course, fan art. We love to see fan art. Absolutely. Um, I love these both. I think it's important to note that both of them are of 
Lime, the leader of the nice How can you slice. tell that's Lime? Yeah, you can't tell that's Lime. Because that's me. Well, it, the beard, matter. yes. Yeah, and Lime all. is a me. But you could be wearing a different color in that picture. So we're openly acting, uh, uh, asking, we're openly asking for, we'll see some more fan of the Knights of the Slice. Just the Lime. That's uh, fine. Or, or red. Yeah, uh, any of them. Nobody likes Together, the maybe. Too. Yeah. Uh, together would be nice, yeah. but, you know, or in separate rooms. Yeah. Or the logo. The yeah. logo is cool, too. Yeah. These are great, though. Thank you guys very much. Uh, keep drawing, and we'll keep showing them. So yeah. we, this is uh, not something new that we have done before, but we like to feature, you know, some independent artists. And sure. uh, one of fan uh, Kyle Kerwin, I believe. Kyle Kerwin. Uh, mm -hmm. He stopped by the office just so he can uh, give us one of his personal uh, inventions of his toys, and here it is. That's right. So when I was at the bathroom at New York Comic Con, mm -hmm. those bathrooms are disgusting and I, yeah. I think you're arguably doing more harm by washing your hands in That's there. Fair. Uh, there was also a, a gender bent uh, kiss cosplayer mm -hmm. who was getting changed. It was, you know, I wanted to make a quick exit. Okay. And uh, this this guy followed me out and I was like, oh, f I'm, uh, we're gonna have to bleep that. Um, <laughs> I was like, oh, heck. I've been caught for not washing my hands, and this guy is totally going to call me out on it. And he comes up and he's like, hey, I like your pin. And I was wearing the uh, Knights Pizza. of the Slice yeah. New York Comic Con exclusive pin, which mm -hmm. is sold out. Sorry, folks. Um, and I said, do you like the pin or you like the show? And he said, both. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So I knew he was an OG fan. Yeah. And he introduced himself, super nice guy, and he, uh, you know, he's making his own stuff. Yeah, definitely check out his Instagram. You can see a bunch of his stuff uh, mm -hmm. that he's been doing. And here he sent us um, a Mudcat. Yeah, character. this is um, this is just gorgeous. I mean, he really, this is like a work of art, you know, with the big card and the artwork that he's put on here. Uh, this is 5 out of 10, so it's obviously a collector's Very item. Very cool, yeah. Should we open it? No, Not the, it's too no, perfect. No, no. I, I, okay, uh, I wanted to open it, but I really got to say that I like the uh, the packaging. Like even though yeah. it's just a small figure, I like that. You know, it's just a large packaging and just tied on. Mm -hmm. But um, I definitely like to know more about Mudcat. Yeah. Well, I think this character in particular is Yolo Mesh, mm -hmm. or that's a you know uh, his company name. Could well, be. we he he came with Trading Card Series One and oh, the sticker oh, awesome. as well. So I mean, yeah, you can see all the different. Uh, Different characters here. Lydia, Operator, the Jonas. This one's pretty cool. Whoa. Uh, it's a Goku. red robot. It yeah. kind of looks like the uh, Federator robot a little bit. The, um, the Veselka and, uh, and the school you know sticker. What? I, hold this for one second. Uh -huh. I'm going to put this uh, sticker sticker uh -huh. right on my sketch pad. Okay. I'm there an adult male who collects stickers. Awesome. So, yeah, this is this is pretty sweet. So, thank you so much for stopping uh, Jesse, in particular, uh, and calling him out on not washing his hands. That was uh, really kind of you. And oh, then, and then I dropped the sticker. Oh, you got it. It's good. It's still good. Now, I gotta say, you know, with these cards, you know, he has a full BIOS for each of these characters. You age, you know, um, height and stuff like that, and race. Mm -hmm. Really, really cool. And I definitely want to check out more of his stuff. If you want, if you're interested, Go to uh, KyleKerwin.com. Yeah. Or yeah, check uh, his Instagram. Check his Instagram, for yeah, sure. For sure. Um, we love getting stuff for free. We certainly don't want to encourage people to stop by the office uninvited, but we'll what? make an exception in this case. This isn't even our office. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Um, awesome. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, so, you know, since we featured some fan art, we featured a fan toy, which is incredible. Mm -hmm. uh, we're just going to limit to one question this week, but okay. each week we like to wrap up the episodes with questions directly from you guys. Okay. Whether they're from our Instagram account, whether they're from the comments below, um, or, you know, you mail them directly to us at toypizzamail at gmail.com. Or psychic messaging. Yeah. Some, I'm, I'm a receiver. Sometimes. I'm, I'm really high on the scope. I, I'm a receiver. You just forget to write them down sometimes, but... John Edwards. It's fine. Uh, I'm sensing, uh, you play video games? I do! Uh, you've lost... My mother! You've lost someone you care about in video games? <laughs> my Your character died. <gasps> yes. And you hit continue? Yes. Oh my gosh. This guy's I want too you good. to know it's okay. Okay, thank you. Um, so Chris Choice, fellow oh my God. friend. F in heck. Friend, Hold. great friend of Toy Pizza, Chris great. Choice. Okay, yeah. Uh, who now resides in um, Los Angeles. Sunny California. Right. He's left us. Los Angeles. That's why I'm bitter. Uh, he wants to know who would win in a fight? Is it of the Knights of the Slice or us in real life? Uh, all three of us. Is it versus, like, you know, are we fighting him? Like, I think we it... could beat up 
Chris Choice. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. Who would want to fight Chris Choice or Toy Pizza? <laughs> Do we get, we have to show a photo of Chris Choice. Do we have anything embarrassing of him? No, we have. Uh, I think we have a picture together. We've got some pictures that yeah. you're looking at now. Maybe a, a picture, a high school yearbook. Oh, photo. How are we? I could get that, but that would be a big thing. Yeah. You know, um, boy, that's a, me. <laughs> no uh, question. Well, no, I took two MMA classes before I quit Interesting. because it was really strenuous. So. Well, I I could, I could choke you unconscious. That's probably true. <laughs> well, I had to mention the fact that um, I don't work out. Okay. Well, that definitely yeah. gives you the edge. Yeah, uh, you train carnage every day. I, I don't have earlier a today. You said you don't like confrontation. I don't like <laughs> confrontation or conflict. I will avoid. Yeah. I'm a pacifist, I guess. Yeah. No, I avoid conflict. I don't know where he gets this from, but on the daily, he he will say. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. So I think I'm not sure if that's a threat, but I, I, I don't know. That's You're crazy hard to say. So no, I, I, I don't know. I'm I'm a, I'm look, a lover. Whoever wins, it will be a, a sissy fight. Let's be honest. There's <laughs> yeah, not going to be any cool moves. <laughs> yeah, it it'll be embarrassing. Be. You know, you don't want to see it when the garb comes on and the helmets. Whoosh, yeah, and we can't breathe in the helmets. Different story. The suits yeah. take uh, over. Depending on what toys are on the table, you know, yeah, things yeah. could get hairy. So the suits here, take over. answer that question, uh, Chris. Uh, we have peanuts for you. They're coming in the mail. <laughs> so. Oh, man. Well, He's allergic. Did you say peanuts? Yeah. Uh, peanuts. Okay, I heard. Never mind. Something else. No, okay. you know, I, yeah, I can edit it where it sounds like peanuts. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Well, uh... Well, uh... Look, uh, you guys have been great. Keep sending us the fan art. Keep liking our, our stuff photos and our yeah. videos and sharing yeah. them with everybody send us toys yes don't send us, to well, send us toys if you want at yeah. this point we have more toys than we will ever be able to review i have one toy that i don't need we may else. have to return that, so oh, okay. please be That's careful yeah. well yeah um, thank you to 3a for uh, sending us this uh meal oh, figure yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely this is, this is oh, awesome yeah oh, oh yeah and yeah. definitely look forward to seeing more 3a yeah and awesome that pizza. brings up the other most important pizza out uh <laughs> what game is it from I'm not sure. Oh, Jaws. Jaws. NES. <laughs> Jaws NES. A retro 8-bit version? Yeah. <laughs> Hello, my baby. Hello, my... <laughs>